Hello, welcome to Spellbound Homestead. My name is Taylor and I'm so glad that you are here. Today is a very exciting video. Today is a collaboration with Indiana Jones and other fellow creators and collaborators. All the information will be linked down in the description, but we are kicking off the spooky season with the Juno Ween playlist where you can watch other collaborators create and come up with ideas to get us all excited for the upcoming spooky season. Today I'm gonna bring you along with me as we get geared up and make a craft together and I'm really excited uh, also with me as we get excited for the summerween and juneween season. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. To start on the craft, I changed my clothes, but I wanted to share with you what we're going to be making. So I actually thrifted this. This was originally from Target for $5, but I thrifted it for $1.99. And I had this idea to make a bird cage, Halloween dark academia inspired cage. And I think it was really cute and I'm excited to share with you. So let's go ahead and start crafting. For this craft, you will need a terrarium, a bird cage, a container of any sort that you would like to craft with. You will also need a creature, a bird, a butterfly, anything like that will work. I also picked up some crafting ribbon for some bows that we're going to be making. I also picked up some of these tags for the name tab because our little creature is going to have a name. And I also picked up some of this stuffing or filling. You will see later on in the video that also added some moss to it. A piece of paper for a crown that we are going to create for our bird. Some scissors. And some glue. Let's go ahead and get our bird cage prepped and ready for our craft. Here I'm just prepping the paper for the crown that we're going to make for our bird, just cutting it down to size and getting the shape that I like in order for it to adhere to the bird's head. This surprisingly actually took me a minute to figure out, but once I got it going, I was really happy with the way that it turned out and the shape. Looking back, I wish I would have added a little more decoration to it, but it still turns out really cute in the end. Now I'm just cutting the ribbon down to size using the method of eyeballing it and hoping that it works out. So I'm actually going to cut this and then create a bow for the top of the bird. Now I'm just tying a very simple bow to add to the top of it. Now we're going to glue the ribbon on top of the bird. I quickly learned that Elmer's glue just simply wasn't strong enough to hold it. So I ended up having to switch over to super glue, which I suggest going ahead and having on hand just in case. Here I'm just adding on the finishing touches, making sure that everything's nice and secure. And I went ahead and tied an extra ribbon around the neck of the bird to kind of cover up any glue or anything like that that may be showing. And then here we're going to adhere the little crown on top of her head. This is what she looks like so far. So now we are just going to add her into her little bird cage. Here I just played around with some of the straw, also added some moss I found in my craft closet and just kind of played around with it until I was happy with it and I just laid her in there. I didn't have to adhere her to the actual moss itself, she set up on her own perfectly. And this is kind of what we're working with now currently, so we're going to add on the finishing touches and wrap up our little craft. Here I just added on some extra ribbon to kind of dress it up a little bit. Now we are going to name our little creature. And voila! So 
this is the end result of our craft. She's a little mangy, but that's okay. This is Henrietta, and it gives that full primitive vibe, which I'm going for anyway, and she used a retired circus bird, so there you go. So be sure to check out all the collaborations down below for the Junoween playlist with Indiana Jones and other creators. It's always a good time whenever we get together and craft and get excited for the spooky season. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and as always, I hope you have a magical day.